I'm Paul. I'm Devin. Together, we're Dads and Dice, two dads who like to play some games during our free time. That's right, and today we are actually doing a Kickstarter preview for the two to six player delivery game Harvest Hoppers by Snowbright Studios. In Harvest Hoppers, you are a hop top courier trying to deliver vegetables for the Even Fall Festival. You got three days to give as many vegetables to all the owners of the restaurants as you can. And the person who does it the best wins the game. And with a little bit of hop top magic, we're joined by one of our Meeple moms, Lacey. Hi. All right, we're going to go get it set up. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we have everything set up here for Harvest Hoppers. And real quickly, I would like to mention this is a prototype copy. So everything could slightly change artwork, that kind of thing. Uh, so just know that going into it. Uh, one thing I do know that is changing for sure is our little hop tops here. They are actually going to be these little standees on uh, little cardboard bicycles uh, because you are hop top couriers delivering your vegetables. So I think it's a pretty little cool thing that that's the piece that it's going to be. Um, but we are going to be playing this game over three days in preparation of the Evenfall Festival. And we are vegetable owners that are trying to deliver our vegetables to the various restaurants throughout the town. So each day we will have a stack of vegetables. We'll have six in the first, six in the second, seven in the last, and we're trying to deliver as much as we can. So on your turn, you can move, which consists of moving one hex as a coast, or you can rush uh, moving two or three hexes, but you lose a day's vegetables and you're racing around, bounces right out the basket. Um, and then, once you're on that spot, you can deliver a vegetable or pass. So, delivering a vegetable is very simple. As long as a vegetable has not been delivered by another player this day to that restaurant, you deliver a vegetable there, and you'll bump yourself up the reputation track there uh, to the existing uh, restaurant type. Or you pass, and when you pass, you just flip a vegetable over that you're carrying. Now, if you already have a flipped over vegetable, you will actually discard a vegetable. So, kind of a way ensuring that you don't pass two times in a row, uh, but passing can definitely be a part of the strategy in moving around without trying to lose all your vegetables. So we'll go around uh, taking turns, uh, delivering all the vegetables. At the end, once you've delivered all your vegetables, you can't do anything or possibly just want to for some reason, uh, you rest. And when you rest, you will go to one of the available farms on the outside of town. And each farm can only hold one hop top, so uh, it can be kind of trying to decide where you want to go and start out the next day. At the end of each round, we are going to see who has delivered the most vegetables to each neighborhood. And we've got four neighborhoods in the game here for a three-player game. We're going to see who delivered the most vegetables to that neighborhood. And whoever has, through all of the days we've played so far, will get five reputation. Uh, second place getting three. If two people tie, both will get three reputation. And that's really all... Uh, there is to the game. We're going to play over the course of three days and who can come out with the most reputation in Green Branch. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And before we get started, uh, I gotta say that I am playing Gary Green. And Gary Green, he is an up-and-coming broccoli owner who is known for his disruptive business model of combining vegetables with delivery songs. And I am playing Vivian Beat, who is quick with the radishes and the recipes. Uh, she can't be beat, uh, so we will see what she can do. And off screen here, we have our Meeple Mom, Lacey. I am Azalea Azul. Azalea is one of the best truffle hunters around, and there's no denying her eye for the choicest morsels among the marshes. Okay, so um, the first player to go is going to be the one who rode their bike most recently. And funny enough, we all 
do ride our bikes fairly frequently. Yeah. I rode mine two days ago. Uh, so I have been sick and not done any training, so uh, <laughs> Paul's going to beat me on that. A long time ago. <laughs> then it looks like uh, Paul is starting us off, and we'll go clockwise from there. All right. So you don't have to stay in your neighborhood. Um and part of this is that area control, so you kind of want to have a presence in all the neighborhoods. Yes, and real quick, I'm sorry, I did not mention, um, all of the five basic restaurants are all exactly the same, they're worth mm-hmm. the same amount of points. There is, in each neighborhood, a two-star restaurant and a three-star restaurant. They're going to be worth a little bit more points, but to deliver there, two vegetables and three for the three-star have to have been delivered in that neighborhood already before going there and it doesn't have to be from the same player it's just in total there has to be two or three vegetables there from that day so i'm gonna go ahead and i will encroach here into devon's starting neighborhood and i will uh deliver a beat to this uh bread shop bread shop to a bakery Bakery, i think is what we call them yeah i think it's a bakery (laughs) uh okay i'm gonna go to the sandwich shop which is a shop and we're delivering there I am going to make some juice. Juice? Mushroom juice? Yeah. Mm. That sounds kind of... Yeah. Let's see. I am going to... Uh, do I want to make a play here? A real quick pause. We are playing with the strategic variant. So we all kind of have a special ability, and I guess we should mention that. Um, mine is to have delivered to more two-star restaurants than any other player at the end of the game. I will get an additional four points. And mine is getting an additional five points if I deliver more vegetables in total than everybody else. And mine is four extra points if I deliver to more three-star restaurants than any other player. So with that being said, that kind of... I'm I'm on this... I could deliver here. I would have to rush, but I would lose a vegetable. Um, so I don't really want to do that, but I also don't want to do another vegetable here because then Devin could come right up there and get that. Uh, but I know he's going for these two star vegetables over here or two star restaurants. I'm going to go ahead and go here, deliver some coffee. I at least, I at least have some presents in there. Um, so we'll do that. Okay. So, hmm. Well, you put me in a pickle, right? Because now if I stay in the neighborhood, you're going to deliver to the three-star, which I don't want. Um, So I think I'm now forced to kind of leave the neighborhood as well. And let's go to the juice stand and make some broccoli juice. It's not Uh, much better than uh, (laughs) mushroom juice. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe the Hop Tops enjoy it. It's it's, it's a big part of Evenfall. Yeah. That's (laughs) true. Yeah. If I was a hot top, maybe I would. You know what? Uh, I didn't mention Gary Green's favorite uh, meal is broccoli and tofu. Maybe it's broccoli juice with his tofu. That's very true. <laughs> maybe he throws that tofu in there. Makes yeah. it a little thicker. <laughs> Thick. <you know. laughs> All right. Where are you going, Lacey? I am going to make a sandwich. Making a sandwich. With my mushrooms. Making a sandwich. Well, that's a good combo. That's. Uh, I'm <laughs> not a mushroom. Fan. I think of sautéed mushrooms anytime we're talking about <laughs> mushrooms. Okay, um, I am going to let's uh, let's make some actual juice here. Let's make some beet juice. Um, my favorite meal is uh, berries and beet juice, so I'm gonna enjoy that. Okay. Um... Hmm, man, I I want to be greedy here. I'm just going to be 100% honest because it's the type of person I play. I was thinking about locking down over here and uh, getting this two-star restaurant, like just going and getting. I think I'm now going to go to this taco shop and deliver a vegetable here. Okay, get those tacos. So Broccoli tacos. All right, Vivian, what do we got? I'm Vivian. This is Azalea. <laughs> All right, Azalea, what do we got? I wish y'all could have seen the look she gave me uh, like it was her real name I just insulted. Uh, yes. Um, I am going to get some mushroom tacos going on. Some mushroom tacos. Uh, I don't want to lose any of 
my vegetables. I don't want to move just once. I am, let's see, we're gonna go here, but I'm gonna pass. Okay. So I'm turning it over to that chat sign. Okay. Then let's go. Hmm. That was good. I might go here and pass. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And deliver, deliver your mushrooms. We got our first three star delivery. Okay. Um Okay, I'm gonna keep on wanting to rush. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Where am I gonna go? Interesting, interesting. Can't pass twice. We're gonna go. Kind of put myself in a pickle here. I'm gonna go here and then deliver this one there. Tacos. Okay. I think I am going to rush. I'm going to go here. Yep. And deliver. So I'll lose one. Uh, but I will go. Okay. I am going to the break bakery. To the bakery. Mushroom bread. Uh... I think I have to rush. I don't want to lose my fruit, my, my vegetables, but it's the play that has to be done. So I will deliver there. Okay. I figured you were going to do that, um, but it was kind of my fallback. So I'm going to go there and take it to the, what is that, the sandwich shop. Take it to the sandwich shop. <laughs> oh, cool. I am, I guess, going to the sandwich shop as well. The other one. The other, a sandwich shop. All right. So now it is technically Paul, and you're going to have to I have to pass. Rest. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pass to here. Okay. Um, I am going to... Rest here. And I'll go over here. All right. Okay, perfect. Um, so now we do our neighborhood bonuses. Um, so let's start this neighborhood okay. here. Uh, we tied, so we're both going to get a three. Yep, we both get a three. Um, we'll do this neighborhood here. Um, it looks like I have the majority. Yeah. And Devin has the second most. Yeah. I'm going to flip those as we go. We'll go here. Uh, Lacey has the majority. I have the second most. You don't have any of that. Oh, I thought I had <laughs> That's my, That's my That's hop top. you. <laughs> <laughs> that is my hop top. Uh, and then lastly here, um, you we, tie. we tie for the yep. majority. Tie for the majority. Okay. Okay, so now that we have covered all that uh, we go on to the next round so uh paul it is you all right uh i'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the coffee shop here and i will make some beet coffee <coughs> some antioxidants in there all right i don't quite know exactly where i'm headed um, I think I am just going to go we're going to go right here to the okay. sandwich shop and we will deliver to the sandwich shop okay. I'm going to go to the bakery bakery all right uh, I am going to move here to the sandwich shop. 
Okay. Okay. And um, I am going to move to the bread shop. Go here. I'm going to make some more mushroom, mushroom juice. juice. Mm, nice. Our favorite. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and deliver here to the two star restaurant. Okay. I'm going to go here to this three star. There. I am going to make a sandwich. Nice, consistent, moving around. That's right. No speeding for Lacey. <laughs> That's how I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice and controlled. I'm going to go here, make another sandwich. And I think I'm going to go here to carry it. Not carrot, taco stand. <laughs> what on earth am I thinking? I am going to go here. What is that, a three star? Three star. Is there three three star. There is. Oh, no, that was one I had already delivered to previously, so <laughs> couldn't go there. Okay, I am just going to make my way around town. No, 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 no. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Making my way around town. All okay. right, um, I'm coming to this taco stand here. Well, I am going to go to this taco stand there. Okay, and then I will... Ooh. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go here. I will pass. Okay. Um, well, I will come here to this two-star Go there. So, uh, two star this time. Oh, I wish. <laughs> All right. I am going to go over there. Get a mushroom sandwich. Okay. And we will go make some coffee. Uh, you made a sandwich. Yes. And I made a coffee. Okay. Okay. So it looks like that is it for the second day. Um, so, unfortunately, Lacey uh, swooped, swooped in there. Um, so, we all tie there. Uh, so, we're all going to get a three. Um, let's go here. Um, so, green has four. Yep. Blue has two, three. Three. And purple has two. two. Yep. Uh, so, it looks like green gets five. Uh, good old Gary. That's me. Gary Green. All right over here, we have one, two, three, four broccolis. One, two, three, four. So you guys tie that one. Okay. And then over here, it looks like I take majority, and then blue takes second. Okay, we had a small little uh, oopsie that we fixed. <laughs> uh, at the end of last round, we forgot to rest before going into the scoring. So... We did our resting. Uh, Paul is here. I am here. Lacey is here. And then we double-checked our scoring to make sure everything was where it should be. And now we are ready to start the final day. Paul, it is on you. All right. Uh, I'll move here. I will make some beet juice. Beet juice? Beet juice. Okay. Um, I will... I will move here and make some coffee. Okay. My first coffee. First coffee. I'm not a not a big coffee frog. I am going to rush surprisingly okay. to, to over here to make some coffee. Okay, you wanted to get to the coffee. Rushing. Okay. Um, what you got well, planned? Yeah. Let's see. Um, interesting. I'm gonna go get make some tacos. I believe this is a nope. My second taco stand. Okay. And I think I'm gonna rush. I'm going to move three. 
and deliver the two star there. So there's only one vegetable so far. Mm. Cannot did you do pass that. on your first? Where did you go your first? Oh, one? I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, it was my bad. <laughs> I was like, I could have sworn you built. <laughs> you're right. There. Um. Okay. So one, did you move yourself up the juice? When you did I that? did. Okay. And then now me the two star. The two star. Okay. And I went up one on the taco. All right. Um, this I one I'm assuming is here. I'm going to make some juice. Making some juice. Okay. Well, I'm going to go here. Make that three star. Okay. Hmm. I think if I'm going to go here and make another coffee, I think. Been drinking those coffees lately. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do the coffee. I am going to go here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hey, that's your first two star. Ain't nobody want to see that. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I'm going to go here. Make a little. Yeah, I'll make a taco. Mm. That hurt. My my thing was to have the highest number of two stars. Yeah. And I don't think you... Did you just move Lacey's two star? Uh, that was her first two star. Oh, that was Lacey's yeah. first. I uh, thought it was her second. I was no. getting the purple and the blue confused. Okay, I'm feeling all right then. Uh, so we're gonna go there and make some bread. Here we go. All right, all right, well, Lacey. I'm gonna go here and pass. Hmm. I was about to place there, then I realized I've already gone there. So, what is this? Juice? This has already been done. And it's already been done today. So I am stuck. I can go here. Get a sandwich. There we okay. go. Um... I'm going to go here and pass. Okay. I'm going to go here. Get a three star. Mm. Okay. And I am... Where do I need to go? This is no good. You're in a bad corner right there. I'm in a very <laughs> bad spot here. I need to rush. If I rush, I will lose my strategic. But there's no way that I can do this without rushing. So I might have to just give up those five points. Is there a juice bar close by? You can that, make it. That's three. Think that's what we're gonna do. We'll rush to here. And I'll discard one, but that gets me my final juice bar. That was uh, the other day. Yeah, you can't deliver there. You can't deliver there because it was the other day. Mm. Okay, so let's take so it back. I can't here. go there. Oh my goodness. I am stuck. I can make it. Is there a taco stand? Um, so I see you can make it to a sandwich shop, and that's about rushing. That's what you that's got. That's about it. Well, I think that's my best move. We'll go there. We'll rush. Okay. Like that, and that's a sandwich. <clears throat> Well, 
I'm gonna go juice or bread. Let's go uh, juice. We'll deliver to the juice place. What you got, Azalea? <laughs> I unfortunately, I thought I was going to get this two star, but it was one I had already been to. Uh, it's really, honestly, uh, way more strategic in the figuring that kind of stuff yeah. out. Than, yeah. Uh, yeah, trying to figure out where you're and at. You realize that on surface to. level, right? Uh, and I like that. Um, all right, where are you going? I'm go here and pass. Mm, clever. And I am uh, um, resting, so I will put mine here since I'm the first one that rested. Okay. I think I just have to finish it off going to the bread. Is that bread? That's bread. The bakery. <laughs> the bakery. Mm, I'm going to go to taco. Okay, okay. Uh, Devin, you're. Resting, I am, um, which means Lacey, you have to rest on your turn. We'll call that okay. So you'll pass. There we go, and we'll see the okay. final control. So the final area control here. So uh, going here, it looks like uh, purple I, uh, has five. I have four. Um, don't need to flip them now. This one here is. Man, I, I, it looks like blue. Uh, yeah, yep. blue, blue and then green. The most, and then green. This one here, it looks like green, and then blue. Yep. And then here, purple, purple and, then and then blue. blue. Alright, so then we just tally up our scores. Uh, we will start with blue. <clears throat> We've got 3, 4, 10, 20, 3... 25 plus 12, 37, and then plus all of your coins there. 37, 47, 50, 59, 62, 65, 68. 68 plus what your goal was the most three star, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, Which she did, did have the yes. most. So that was an additional four. Yep. So, 72 points over here. Okay. All right, mine was delivering the most vegetables. I don't think I did that. I don't <clears throat> think so yeah. either. Because uh, we, you and I and Lacey yep. ended up with two left over. Yep. So. so, I've got seven, nine, uh, what is this? Nine. Six. six, seven, nine, 15, 21, 27, 30, 33, 33, 43, 53, 56, 59. Okay. And, and then, then I Devin. did not get mine because, no, I did get mine. You did get yours. Two yep, it was a two star. And, yeah. So 7, uh, 12, 18, 24. 27, 30, 36. 46. Um, oh, shoot. 49, 52, 55, 58, uh, 61, 64, 67. And 4. And 4, so 71. Yeah. So our winner was Azalea with 78. <laughs> okay. All right. Congratulations <laughs> there. So this was Harvest Hoppers. Um, I don't know. What did you guys think of this? Uh, I thought it was good. Um, it, Like you said during the game there, it seems pretty basic. Uh, rules are very simple. 
but really whenever you start playing it you realize just how much strategy is actually needed um i realized there in the last round i trapped myself in a corner there was nowhere for me to go right unless i wanted to rush which then gave up my my uh strategic win or whatever um so that was that was really interesting uh and then just having to plan around like oh i've already been there i shouldn't be making my way there uh so that was really good there's there a lot of depth to the game there was a lot of depth that comes out as the game progresses right so those beginning rounds it's pretty simple yeah the board's wide open everybody starts kind of spread out you know you deliver stuff maybe somebody hits a three on that round but as that game progresses and oh i've already been there oh but i'm going here and he's going over there so i can sneak yep. the two restaurant or I can work my way in and I'll rush and get the three. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole lot of that that can happen. It can be like, pretty cutthroat. Yeah, right? it, it really uh, can for what is kind of a cute little uh, game. Lacey, what did you think? Uh, I agree that it was simple at the beginning, but as the rounds progressed, um, there was obviously less options for you and you had to figure out where you needed to go. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, I, I really like that in a game. I like when a game, um, it almost you learn as the game yeah. goes in a good way, right? Like, it starts off simple, but even though the mechanics don't change, uh, there becomes more to it as it goes. So, uh, honestly, a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like uh, one thing that's kind of underlooked is, is resting, is where you're starting with resting. I, I really think that's a big decision because... If you start off in a neighborhood where you've already plant or where you've already delivered a lot, you have to work your way out of that into a new neighborhood, which can be pretty difficult. But you have to do by rushing, so you're going to be losing your vegetables, and so I, I think that's a that's another just little thing that you have to plan for. In yeah, advance. and you can you can strategically, uh, if you're one of the last to rest, rest in a neighborhood that somebody thinks they have locked yes. down, and then uh, you go after the last couple uh honestly Lacey got quite a bit of reputation there just yep. kind of sweeping out some neighborhoods yep. that we thought looked good and then she just really went in there and uh sealed Dug it deep. off so yeah. uh yeah this was harvest hoppers this is the part full disclosure this game was sponsored by snow bright studios and we really wanted to play it to just kind of show the strategy of the game show how a full game was played and really let you be able to make the decision if it is something that you would like that's perfect for you um there are a couple things i think are really cool about the just Kickstarter in general mm -hmm. and things I would like to mention about Snowbright Studios. First and foremost, uh, they have a sustainability pledge where uh, they are trying to kind of do and work with all the manufacturers they can to produce a somewhat sustainable game. Um, working with making it as low plastic as possible. Uh, just working with the manufacturers and the processing uh, that they choose. So one super honorable thing that they're doing there. Two, something that hits pretty close to home for us, and uh, I know Paul and I talked about this, and I'm not even sure I mentioned it to Lacey, is that they have a pledge level where, you know, they've got their normal pledge, you pledge for the game, but then a level up is you can pledge the game and then a copy to be donated to board game clubs for schools. Now, the part that hits close to home for us is Paul is a teacher who runs a board game club at his middle school. And actually, Lacey has been in the process of attempting to start it at her elementary school before. Uh, so definitely big kudos for that uh, as teachers are, uh, well, in and a part of our lives. And board games are. And we like board game clubs and everything to get board games into the hands of students. So I think that is super cool. Just wanted to throw that out there. But really... This is for y'all to make the decision about the game yourself. If you think it's interesting, definitely go check it out on Kickstarter. If you're watching this now or within the next uh, week or so, it is still live, so you still have time to pledge. If not, assuming that it gets all its funding and whatnot, go get the late pledge, uh, buy it retail, whatever uh, choices you have there. That's all we really have. We really hope you enjoyed this. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. All those things help us, they help our channel grow, and we'll catch you on the next one. Stay cozy. Good job, your big screen debut. I'm using the jump. <laughs> Mushroom juice. Yuck.
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's my thought. Okay, back to me. Yeah.